In this lesson, we're going to be looking at using a subquery and then also using the in and the not in keywords. Now in this case, let's just, uh, first of all, let's uh, pick our database that we like. Okay, we've got the Acme database. Let's just do a select star from employees and a select star from departments, just to see kind of where we're at. Now you see here, we have several departments in this company. We've got accounting, HR, uh, management, but then we've got sales and IT. Those are the cool guys that always have cool parties. You know, you don't believe me? Eh, you know, watch Office Space. Not recommending it, just something I heard. Um, yeah, hmm. Okay, and then we have employees, and you see each one of them happens to be in, you know, one of these departments. Like, for example, anybody with a cool name, you know, is usually either uh, in IT, or of course, Kenny Selim, he's in sales, uh, Tony Macaroni, but that name, you gotta be in sales, you're in. Okay, so we've got this. Now what we want to show first of all, this is just a review, this will not be a subquery, we're just showing the simple way to use in and not in. We're gonna select star from employees where the DP key or the department key is in three or four. So basically, we only want to be pulling back people like Vladimir, Roy, Patesh, Tony and Kenny. Okay, so when we do that, that's what we're getting. We're saying select star from employees where the DP key, this guy, is in here somewhere, three or four. And then we're ordering it by the department and then the last name, yay. Well now, maybe instead we wanna show the opposite of that. We wanna show we're using the not in. So here, when we look at employees, how many people are in human resources? Well, there's this Pamela Miller. That looks like about it. You know, so obviously we want to send everybody an email to everybody except for Pamela Miller. How would we do that? Well, we're going to say select star from employees where DP key not in two. So let's do that. And there it is. It's everybody except where the DP is, is two, the DP key. So this means that, you know, in and not in, it's just like a simple way of saying it's in this group or it's not in this group. You could conversely say select star from employees where DP key equal three or DP key equal four. That would take forever, especially if this is a long list. So this consolidates things nicely. But this doesn't have to be a hard-coded list. It could be a subquery, and this is where it gets fun. Let me just save this guy. And let me just uh, get into the Acme database. There we go. Again, let's just uh, select from employees and departments so we can see what we're doing. Same as before, we, you know, we've got all these employees, they each belong to a different department, great. In this case, let's just run through this again. Now, I've indented things so it's a little easier on the eyes. Now, in this case, we're just going to be looking at the in keyword, okay? Even though this is about the not keyword, not in, we're going to do the not in when we get here, but just to kind of explain this piece by piece. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say select star from employees where the DP key is in three or four. So we want to get the sales people and the IT people. You know, the cool people. There we go. And there they are. Now what's different about that, see up here where it says in and then in between the parentheses it just says three and four? If you really want to make this dynamic, here's the same in keyword and here's the parens, but instead of passing in hard coding three and four because let's say I don't really know what they are, I want to make this a little more dynamic. So I'm selecting the DP key from departments where the DP display is in sales or IT. In other words, I'm picking the key values straight from the department table where you know it's the sales record or the IT record. So in other words, it's a little bit extra work, but it might make more sense to somebody who's looking at your code. Here, where the display is equal to sales or IT, this is equal to three or four. So what we're doing when we do this, we're extracting this, watch. See how that just returned three and four? It's the same thing as this, except here we're hard coding it, here we're soft coding it. So just like when we run this, and we get, what was it, five records, six records. When we run this, we should get the same six records. And we do, good times, huh? It's just, think of this section here, as kind of an exploded version of this. That's all it is. Now that we've gone through that, let's just run over and do the same exact thing, except 
we'll show the negative or the converse, if you will. Again, we've got our employee and department table. I think you've seen those enough. What we're doing now is we're selecting star from employees. We'll just do the dumb in without a subquery. And we'll instead of just saying pick three and four, we're going to say where it's not in one, two, and five. And since we only have five values in there, this is going to still give us all the cool people. See? Six records. We've got basically all the, the two sales guys and the developers. Beautiful. Well, what we want to do now is we want to return 1, 2, and 5 from this subquery. And actually, let me uh, fix the indent on here. So I just feel like I sinned against all programmers. Okay. If I look at this subquery, and by the way, the subquery usually um, should be able to run on its own. See how this is returning 1, 2, and 5? Because I'm selecting, I'm selecting all the departments where, in this case, I'm using an in, but here I'm using a not in. Don't worry what I'm using in here. This, I could have I coded this any way I want. It has nothing to do with out here. This query, its only job is to return 1, 2, and 5, because I just want to replace this. And it is a subquery. So basically, this is going to, the, the system, SQL Server is going to interpret this as select star from employees where the DP key is not in, and it's going to think this is 1, 2, and 5, because that's what it's returning. It's returning its own record set of 1, 2, and 5. So this, although it's blown up a little more, will basically do the same thing that this does. So let's run them together. And as you can see, they're the same exact thing. Now, you may wonder, why on earth would you ever do this when this is a lot less work? Well, it depends what you're doing. If it can be hard-coded, Fine, don't use that answer like on a job interview, by the way. But usually in real life, it's not that simple. Usually, you know, you have to use a subquery because, you know, you may have values that are specific or they might be coming from somewhere. Maybe things are being populated from the results of somebody clicking on a list box. Of course, then you would have these anyway, but it all depends what you're doing. But one thing is for sure. In this, um, in, this in this scenario, even though it's a little more exploded and expanded, it's a lot more obvious to the person reading your code what you're trying to do. You're trying to disclude anybody in accounting, HR, and management. These numbers here, to the average person, would mean nothing if they weren't looking right at this table. Whoa, you know, one is accounting, two is HR, and five is management. But if you don't have that table in front of you, it means nothing. So here, in this case, this is how you would use a subquery in conjunction with the not in or even the in keyword, which we looked at over here. Hope that was helpful.